welcome everyone today we are going to learn about java programming okay we are going to learn java programming from scratch all right we follow the teaching methodology that covers 10 minutes 10 minutes lecture theoretical then 20 minutes demonstration and next 30 minute is practice 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 so class duration will be 2 hours within 2 hours we are getting 10 minutes 10 minutes to lectures then 20 minutes 20 minutes to uh, demonstration and 30 minutes 30 minutes to practice session okay let's start without further ado okay uh, click on file we are going to create a java project first okay then click on java project and name it java basic okay then press on enter we now just learn how to create our java project now if you look at it we have several projects here but this one we just created when we created a java project we can see jre system library by default java runtime system library is there java runtime environment system library executes our java program then we see src src meaning source and source is nothing but just an empty folder okay empty folder now inside this java basic project we have src and inside this src we are going to create a package now package in any programming language is nothing but an empty folder so we are going to create empty folder an empty folder will be always in small cap so i just write java okay java basic look at it i type java in all small cap then basic b is capital okay b is capital so if i have uh, another word here java basic tutorial t will be always capital okay um in the next class we will learn all about naming conventions okay today i just want to introduce a java program uh, click on finish and java basic tutorial has been created inside src java basic tutorial inside src folder okay let me uh, just delete other packages okay so that we can look from uh, zero background okay and inside this java basic tutorial package or folder i create a class okay i click on class and name it human okay human and i check in public static void main string args in java programming 
it is the entry points of our program and this main is required to execute our program okay then click on finish and human.java file is created at the same time java class has been created okay and this public is a keyword in java program then this class also another keyword that is necessary to create any class and human is name of our class now this opening curly braces and closing curly braces are defining the scope of this human class okay uh, scope starts here okay and scope remember in your automation or in software development engineering in tests we copy 80 percent and code 20 percent i could write it but i didn't do it i just copy and paste then i will customize instead of stars i say ends here so scope of this class starts here and ends here meaning whatever we write inside this scope it will be inside the class say for example i just take out the main method okay i can just type main then press on control spacebar then click on enter press on enter and public static void void main method will be auto completed so you don't need to check in or jot it down you don't need to write it you don't need to spend more time in writing this codes you can just type main then press on control space bar then again press on enter okay no this is very popular interview question what do we have inside the class inside this class we have main method okay and we will have two things here one is state or states and another one is behavior okay every um every every uh, species or every object or every animal whatever it is does have two characters one is state another one is behavior okay now let's see what are states okay say for example this human this human has its name and name will be uh, string okay so i say string i just say string type the data will be will be string type i'm uh, declaring and defining name as um, hima okay in in java programming whatever you code whatever you program after every code and program you have to terminate it with semicolon okay and this human being does have also age and age is definitely a number and it will be integer 
okay so I type int then age equal to say for example 20 and end with semicolon okay so what is name name is nothing but a variable now what is variable variable very very evil is nothing but a container or box we can say that stores data that stores data or information okay so name is a variable always it can be very you can uh, say and instead of name or you can say first name or you can say full name and hema is a string string meanings combination of letters or combination of letter and numbers strings are combination of letters or letters and numbers okay so hema is combination of letters so it is a string data type okay and numbers are of different types integer flow double so full number is complete number is integer okay and age is definitely a variable that's storing data of 28 number okay now this variable whatever data we are storing inside this variable these are called properties or attributes okay or fields so properties attributes and fields are same thing okay nothing different and this properties attributes fields are called states so what are states states are nothing but nothing but properties attributes fields of this human being it can be name it can be age it can be a designation it can be a salary also okay now these are states and this human has uh, another character that is behavior okay now let's see what are behaviors okay this human being can I can say void or I can say public void uh, speak okay speak now look at it whatever this human being has our properties attributes okay and behavior is different from these attributes or properties or fields it is not properties but the ability to do something this human being can speak we can type c so in control spacebar and autocomplete system dot out dot print element now this system is a class dot out meaning output we are telling system class to 
show an output in line by line printing output I can say human can speak okay and I told you earlier we copy 80% and code 20% okay so I copy it and say instead of speak human can also teach okay human can teach each other all right so look at this properties properties are nothing but states and these are methods and these are nothing but behaviors okay whatever the human beings has are properties and whatever the ability to do something are behaviors and in programming language we call it methods or functions okay in java we say method and in other programming language we say functions okay now observe very carefully we have a human class and this human class have has two characters one is states whatever properties does it have and another one is behavior whatever the ability to do something by the human being okay now now you can explain what are properties and what are uh, methods what is states and what is behavior okay these are very fa famous interview questions uh, could you please explain what are state and behavior in any programming language or in Java okay now you know state states are properties attributes and fields of any class okay or any object it can be also object or anything okay and behaviors are nothing but the methods the capability of doing something by the object or class remember now what is class what is class now let's see what is class class is nothing but uh, blueprints okay blueprint from where we can create unlimited object unlimited object objects okay now class is this human class is nothing but a blueprint from where we can create unlimited object so this is class and the scope of the class is up to here right whatever we write inside the class are characters of the class one is state and another one is behavior okay so popular interview question is what do you find inside the class inside the class we find states and behaviors okay one is states another one is behaviors or you can say properties and methods and what else we have another thing here 
that is also method but it is mean method this is in built method meaning built in method <coughs> excuse me built in method okay built in method comes by default with java programming we didn't create it we just bring it okay and this is user defined method user defined method what does it mean user defined method means we the user or the developer or software engineer or QA engineer or software development engineer in test we create it okay we create this method right even if you create another method you can just say human being can also read okay so this is read method so this is another method this is user defined this is also user defined but it is inbuilt or built in if i say see so control space bar hello java engineers okay and just try to execute it i just right button click run as java application i find hello java engineers this method and this method still not got printed it's not working we do not have still access we cannot use it yet and we cannot use it because to access all the properties and methods of any class inside the class human class we need to create an object of this class okay to access all the properties and methods of the class we have to create object for human class okay now this class is nothing but blueprint yet okay nothing but blueprint still it is not object still it is a blueprint all right like if you want to build a house what do you need you need to uh, design a blueprint you need to have a blueprint a design okay a sketch of the house then from the sketch from the blueprint from the design you develop house okay designer designs and developers develop okay when a house is completely developed house is an object but the blueprint is just a class okay so from this class human we can now create a number object it can be human okay n number humans how we create object okay so why we are creating object we are creating object to access all these methods and properties of the class okay understand all right if you don't understand don't worry you will understand very soon just in the second class okay now how we create object to this human class we take this class and go inside the main method and I just paste it okay 
and put parenthesis then semicolon okay and I say new human so when I type new keyword and type the class human then put parenthesis and put semicolon a new object has been created of or from this human class okay now I can say class okay then I can say human one equal to new meaning this is new human object created from human class okay and we store this object inside a variable human one okay now this human one is a reference variable reference variable to new human object because it is referring to new human okay so uh, h1 sorry human one is a reference very able to new human object now it is really confusing it is really confusing because most of the instructors on YouTube 99% they are teaching you this is object don't forget this is not an object this is reference variable that is referring the new object okay this is new object and it's referring new object that is it is called a reference variable reference variable a reference variable var is variable right okay now why i'm saying this is reference variable let me show you when i just now say see so control space bar and i print the reference variable human one okay if it was an object it would print object but when i print it look what it is printing rather telling it is an object it is giving us java basic tutorial dot human at the rate 515f 550a just printing the reference or path for new object okay now if you create another object i told you from one class you can create now n number object okay now i can create another object new human and store it inside a variable human2 and it is referencing to new object new human okay now you can actually create n number object okay you can say three and now we have object one object two object three and this three object has different reference reference variable now if you just copy i told you to save time we always copy and paste and if you print it now do though look like same object 
the reference or the path is different not the same look different numbers different numbers different numbers because we are not printing the object we are printing the path of the object clear okay fine now we have created object and it has reference variable now using this reference variable to this object using dot operator we can access all the methods and properties of class how let's see i want to access name say for example human one dot name okay i want to access it how i can access it i can just say see so control space bar and i can just copy it put it here now using human one and this dot operator we now access the name okay name name is hima we can make it presentable uh, my friend's name is i can say hima right my friend's name is hima and i can say see so control space bar mm, she is just h now to access h we need to use the reference variable of this object right so i say human one dot h now look how we are accessing the properties of the class she is just 28 and how we can access this methods too now what are methods methods are block of codes that only execute when they are called by name what does it mean this methods are block of code it can be one line of code 10 lines of code or 100 lines of code but that only executes that only execute only execute when they are called by name you have to call them by name name of this method is pick name of this method is teach this is read method now how you can call again you can call using the reference variable reference variable is human one then dot you can find now speak speak is here okay press enter and you can now uh, call by name teach and another one is human one dot read right okay now look at it when i execute it human can speak human can teach each other human can teach each other uh, this one human can read okay i can see human can read books okay 
now we can execute this file from here also okay wonderful human can speak human can teach human can read books now we can also run it from here okay just click on drop down and run human okay and you can also run from here okay run run is java application we can run this codes from different four places even we can run from terminal i will show it later okay now the concept is we create object the human class and giving its a reference variable name okay and using this reference variable we can access the properties name properties and age properties and also the methods very popular interview question how you can access properties and methods in java you can say by creating object to the class and using the reference variable with dot operator dot operator we can access all the properties and methods of the class all right so today actually we learned the core concepts of java programming now if you can understand up to here you can start with cure automation selenium with java okay then we need to know static method and non-static method okay static method and non-static method constructor then four other uh, concept okay huge concept big concept of java programming four principles of java programming what are these uh, we know oop um, has four principles okay these are inheritance abstraction polymorphism and encapsulation encapsulation okay polymorphism inheritance what's wrong what's wrong inheritance okay in the next session we will learn about four polymorphism okay four concepts four concepts of object oriented program in java okay before that we have to learn constructor what are constructor why constructor is necessary okay this is also very popular interview question then static method non-static method let me uh, talk a little about static method and non-static method suppose this is static method static okay static void speak this is there is no static keyword so this is non-static method this is also non-static method let me make it static method okay now what are the difference between static method and non-static method both are user defined method but static is directly related to human class okay directly uh, directly involved related to human class meaning 
the static when we use static keyword it directly relate to the human class and it does have special power what is the special power when you use static in front of uh, a method or in front of properties you can access this method directly without creating object now see it's showing uh, little marks here now if i just take human one still you can call it okay still you can call it so we are not creating object to call this and without using the reference variable to the object we can execute it okay but this one reads look this read is not static method you see read is no static keyword and it is not accessible without creating object and without using the reference variable to the object we cannot execute it we cannot access it if you try to do it you see now it's giving us errors exist in the project you see red mark right exception in trade main if we want to access it either we have to use the reference variable of any object okay use it with dot operator or we can just create it static and now we can access it okay if i save it no error gone is it clear so in interview 99% interviewers will ask you what are the difference between static and non-static method okay clear let's stop here if you have any question feel free to ask you can text us you can send me an email or you can even call over the phone or you can ask me via email okay you can ask me by email you can say qa automation job news at gmail.com okay or you can write comments under this video and ask question okay don't hesitate to ask any question because knowledge beginning begins from asking question all right i hope you understand if you don't understand don't worry we will discuss more and more in the coming class to understand it we will take four classes to clear the concept okay if you understand in just one class we can move forward all right if you don't understand still don't worry okay all right let's end our class here thank you so much see you in the next session